Wow, soft flex, Tom. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you just have the perfect dick, I guess. I guess. Oh. He does. You know, I did hear that from multiple women. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> uh, yeah, they were like, this thing is. I think it's, I love when that yeah. Chef YRD. There you go. Mwah. Mwah. Well, welcome. Welcome to your mom's house. You know what I did last night? We had some friends over and I was showing them around our house and I go, have you ever been on a Solaire? Well, lay down. Let me let me show you. And bzz, I moved my friend up. I vibrated bzz, on the bed. It was so much fun. And she'd never seen it before. Why? Sattva, S-A-A-T-V-A, luxury mattress company. We've been with them for years. We've got the Lumen Leaf. We've got the Solaire. We've got the luxury firm. It's a great value. You get a king size bed, whatever size you want for just such a reasonable price uh, because they don't have a lot of overhead. Everything's made in the USA. Um, Great shipping. Everything comes quickly. They even take away your old mattress for a nominal fee. The setup is top notch. They come in, they install it, boom. Now you're going to go to sattva.com slash the shit to get $200 off your next Sattva purchase. That again is sattva.com slash the shit for $200 off. And we're back. Welcome to another episode of your mom's house, Palmcast. Mm. Hi, Christine. Hi, Tim. You know, it was St. Patrick's Day and we got so faded, huh? That's what it's all about. The day <laughs> of the drunk. The yeah. day of the drunk. Went to Margaritaville. I we love that the drunks everything. need a fucking... I know. I actually played a casino that has a Margaritaville in it in Tulsa. And were you in he- heaven? I mean, yeah. I was, I was like, <laughs> how many cr- different margaritas do they have here? I mean, top shelf margs. They have all kinds of margs here? Yeah. And you can just be here and then you can gamble? That's the best part is getting drunk and gambling together. Yeah. Neat activity. I made fun of it on stage for a second and then yeah. I was like, oh, I still got to get paid. I should probably knock it off. Yeah, you're not supposed to speak poorly about the venue until no. after. Yeah. I've learned that lesson. And they were nice. Way. It was a nice, it was a nice. Uh, what part of town was it in? I was in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Oh, Tulsa. Are there Mormons there? No. In Tulsa? No, I'm thinking of. No. You're thinking of Utah, Salt Lake City? Puta, yeah. Yeah. What's in Oklahoma? Just white people, right? Garth. Um, <gasps> That's right. It's G's hometown, yeah. Yeah. It was fun because I did, um, I did Wichita right before, the, the night before. Pinch it off. And so, um, and Is then I. Is that good? I yeah. think pinch it off is better. But I got to tell the audiences in both cities, I said, uh, like the next day, I was like, I was in Wichita last night, Tulsa. Mm-hmm. Today, uh, two cities with the most prolific kill- uh, serial killers in history. Because <laughs> uh, BTK was in Wichita and Garth Brooks lives here. And then they went crazy. They got yeah. it. They got yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, so, were, we were traveling together this last week. Yeah. I took our little jeans and our tiny jeans and mm-hmm. we met you in Portland. Portland, Maine. The other Portland. Right. Portland, Maine. The other Portland. Mm-hmm. And then we drove on your bang bus. You drove the bang bus from uh, Portland to Boston. Boston, massive, huge tits. That's true. And um, but I would never had the kids on tour before. It was the first We've time We've never ever. done it because it's always been. Look, I, I know there are people that are super stoked to travel with small children. It's crazy to me. Or like newborns. I've They're seen. Like, We're going to Paris. <laughs> like, I'm like, what? I have so much anxiety. I, like, I can barely handle a couple hours in a restaurant with these little guys. Oh, I know. Because I'm. I'm more worried that they're going to freak out and ruin everyone else's good time sure. and then people are going to think I'm a horrible mother. Mm-hmm. Like that's the truth of it. Is that um it's my own judgment, you know? And the truth is it um <sighs> it ruins everybody's life. Well, it did, it did ruin everyone's life. It was still fun. It was fun, right? Oh, it was fun no, to have no, them. It, it, was it was super fun. cute to see them. They came to sound check with me. Yeah. Um and they killed. Like yeah. the whole staff was laughing cuz Ellis took the mic and he goes, smell my beehole. <laughs> and uh, yeah. I was like, this is not that different than my material. <laughs> and then Julian was like, I want to do it. So he yeah. took the mic. He just repeats what his brother said. He's like, smell my beehole. Yeah. And then they each kind of, and then, <laughs> then Ellis goes, like, take the mic and he goes, eat, eat the trash, man. <laughs> like saying all this insane shit. Um, he's like, why don't you live in a toilet? Yeah. And they're like, mm, that's my son. Yeah. Uh, but he was fearless when he, was, he brought he, you up. He introduced me. So that was cool. He'd used the VOG uh, backstage. Mm-hmm. And then he was like, ladies and gentlemen, Tom Zagura. Six years old. Yeah. yeah. Fearless. Pretty Punk cool. as fuck. And then he was dude. like giving people high fives. He was like, yeah. Yeah. 
He's like, he's, you need me to do it again? I'm like, <laughs> I'm good. He's <laughs> such a little punker. And then um, yeah. Sean, your yeah, trainer, photographer, yeah. photographer yeah. producer, director, choreographer, yeah. he took. He was taking photographs of the boys. And Julian, he got so many beautiful ones of just him like casually being at the window and this and that. And I go, did you get any of Ellis? He goes, no, that kid won't sit still. He won't sit still. Yeah. Until Ellis stood on his head. Yeah. on a chair and was upside down and Sean was like oh he's standing still finally and yeah. got a photo and I then thought that was so funny there's a backstage monitor which is a like a speaker <laughs> yeah and uh, Ju- uh I get off stage and Sean was like your youngest Julian went up to the monitor and was yelling back into it because it was <laughs> like your voice is coming through oh. and he was like hey hey like, <laughs> like yelling into the monitor <laughs> so funny yeah so that was cool um, but it was cool to see the bang bus and where you guys bang chicks. And then when we showed up, you yeah. guys pretended like you didn't ever do that stuff. And we put all the cocaine away. Yeah. Yeah. That was kind of cool. I totally had that paranoid wife thought. Because I, like, I show up and it's like you guys are all insurance salesmen. It's like there's nothing fun happening. I'm like, are you guys even comedians? I'm being serious. And I haven't even said this to you. Like, I haven't told you in private. But <laughs> like I get on. And it's, you know, my two little kids and we're, we're the first time we saw you guys in Maine, we get on the yeah. bus and I was like, what the fucker? Like we're here. And you and like all your, your staff were just like, Hey, everybody was just, Hey. Yeah. And I was like, okay, this is a very serious, serene vibe. Yeah. I'm yeah. not going to ruin their vibes. Uh-huh. But I was very surprised. And then I thought to myself, oh, they're putting on an act of being like, oh, we're just boring on the road. We don't have fun. You know? Yeah. And we put, like you said, the cocaine is somewhere else. Okay. The hookers aren't here. Well, this I mean, there was a pre-arrival speech where I was like, "Hey, the family's coming. Fucking dial it back." You yeah, know? I was like, "Pretend that you know we just sit here." That's what I. That's what I thought. No, that's what I thought. No, people. You know what the truth is? Everyone's just fucking tired. I know. <laughs> that was week two so of a two-week ru- back-to-back run. Well, let me tell you, I, we only did five days with you. Yeah, I was wrecked. Yeah. You even messaged me. You're like, Jesus Christ, I cannot believe what you're It's doing. horrible. Yeah. It is, it's a very, very stringent schedule. Like you literally, you do like two shows, like get on a bus, drive for hours. In the middle of the night, 3 a.m., you get into a hotel, maybe sleep, because now that's two foreign beds that you've yeah. been in in one night. It's yeah. just horrible. It's a horrible life. It's a lot. So I love yeah. you. I'm just glad because when you do all that stuff and then I get to buy expensive sweaters, I'm like, I'm really thankful for all this expensive stuff that I get to have because you do all that. Yeah, thank you. Um, it was exhausting to have the kids there though. Oh my Jesus God. Jesus Christ. Because you know what you didn't realize? I, I realized it after like the third day of you guys being there, I think, was that on the road, like the way, and in the way I'm touring, you spend your day just conserving energy. Right. And, the only, and conserving mental energy. Yeah. Because the only time you, like I expel like physical energy is when we work out and then the, and then the performance, which is actually more mental than physical, so, but you're mentally like all day, you're just like, you know, you go to breakfast, you get a call, and then you go for a walk, and then you're like, oh, let's go chill. Yeah. Let's just take a casual stroll or a nap. Then you end up napping. And what happens is that little kids, mm-hmm. they just, you have to put out the whole time, you're just like, don't break that. Don't throw that. Yeah. Don't touch that. You're going to die. Like, you're, <laughs> you're doing day. that like all, all day. day. So, by the time it's showtime, you're oh. like, so ah. <laughs> Like you feel like you're gonna die. I know. You know? Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I've people... never been that tired. Oh my god. That, I mean, them out there. And look, I we, uh, yeah, it was it was me alone with them. Yeah. For five days, and not like hotels and everything. I was like, I I I, I almost had a nervous breakdown because mm-hmm. I think it's too. It's the tantrums, like when the three year old starts to freak out. Yeah. It's not. It's not a sexual. It's like the free. It's the freak outs. Freak outs, yeah, freak outs freak you out. You're like, dude, can you not? I know. And to think that some of, some of our friends or comics travel with their kids all the it's time. It's crazy like, town. And then they'll do things. I'm always amazed at comedians that can do things during the day. Activities? In yeah. general. Like, hey, I went uh, driving, race car driving, and then we went to a museum. Mm-hmm. And then, well, you did that one time. That's yeah. one time. But I'm saying and like. Actually, and it, it fucking, my brain was still shaking when I was on stage. I was like. Yeah. Because it affects your ability to perform. Yeah. And it was exhausting. I'm thoroughly. I'm. I'm now feeling normal. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, let's let's open the show. Yeah, you I've ready? got a lot of stuff to cover. I got a great opener for you. Oh. I think you're gonna like it. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Here, Here you, you go. go. 
Just so y'all motherfuckers know, Ugh. I am not pregnant. I'm just getting fat. I'm 41 years old, can't have children. Stop thinking I'm getting pregnant. Y'all's fucking with my mojo. Leave me all the fuck alone. <laughs> I. Who is Randy? Don't bring anyone mother into this. sad. <laughs> Your mom gonna fucking stand! Welcome Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. What are you thinking? That was great. That part, that made you LOL? So hard. <laughs> and then one of my friends okay. uh, know, knows somebody who had got a job with this person, with this lady. Wow. Got a job at the same office. And um, the friend said that on day one... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what planet you're on right now. What is going on? <laughs> on day one, she walked up to this person yeah. who was their first day at a job and goes, God, my back hurts. I feel like I got fucked on a wood floor. Hey, I'm Carmen. <laughs> 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 now I, I want to see that TikTok. Uh, That's funny. Well, I don't like that she didn't have teeth. It bothers me. Why? <laughs> She's like, I'm 41. I'm getting fat. Like you're only 41. But her That's the a way that 41. Yeah. <laughs> but see, that just goes to show that not having teeth really ages you. I don't think it's just the teeth, but I mean, it, it affects your whole face, you know. Yeah. Yeah, she's affected. Yeah, that's a good call. I'm getting, she goes, fat. <laughs> she really <laughs> pronounced it, you know? I can't believe you think this TikTok is funny and then mine are Just so y'all motherfuckers no. know, I am not pregnant. I'm just getting <laughs> fat. <laughs> that's so depressing. And like her face is clearly sunken in and hollow. She's not fat. What? Maybe the body is. The body, yaddy, 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 yaddy. What? She's not fat. I agree with you. I'm just saying, she maybe for her her normal self, this is fatter than she normally is. Yeah. You know? Okay. So, I can't believe you didn't love that clip. I didn't. I don't like. So for me, it's a very it's a specific alchemy uh, of what I like in a TikTok. Like mm -hmm. some some of them are too sad. Yeah. And then I can't find joy in it. That that this one would skew too sad for me. That is insane, being that you are <laughs> the messenger of sadness. I mean, your curations are some of the saddest things I've ever seen. <laughs> oh my God, there's Way so Way sadder than this. And, now, and I felt recently a ton of sad ones have come in. Like, it's been a rough week. But hold on, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't like that. I don't like this one. This person, if I worked somewhere and this woman was there, I would make excuses to talk to her every day. Wait, where do they work that you can have no teeth? That's the, not in customer service, clearly. Anywhere. Anywhere? You're, you're allowed to have no teeth? No. And have a job? Of course you can. If I were in HR and Carmen showed up and she didn't have the perfect smile. What are you talking about? I mean, her dentures in if she didn't have her dentures in. They can't be like, put those teeth in. Well, I wouldn't. I wouldn't hire Carmen. I wouldn't. I, that's a different thing that you wouldn't hire Carmen. Carmen but, can but work. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> that's back. We're not talking about Wait, what's no. preferable. I, right, I understand. But I'm just wondering, in your job history, yeah. like, have you worked with somebody that has no teeth? Yes. Which, which career? Like, in which... Granger. <laughs> it's a good job. Yeah. What did they do at Granger? They worked in the warehouse. Okay, so that's, yeah, behind the scenes. Yeah. Because I've worked in many, cust like, um, 
I've worked in the service industry. I've been a waiter, waitress. I've worked in a cannery. I've worked um, in offices. It's not. I've never worked with somebody without teeth. It's not like they go. It'd be really great if you didn't have teeth. <laughs> but you're still allowed to, you know, get the job. I mean, I've I've, I've seen um, front desk people who have fucked up teeth. Yeah. I but mean, they're allowed to have them? the job. I, none of them is a choice. Yeah, it's, it's an extreme, <laughs> you know? I, I like that Nadav has teeth, but if yeah. he didn't, you know, he'd still be able to work here. But you would, I mean, would you? Okay, okay. No, I mean, if you were interviewing, I'd be like, I met the guy. I didn't like this. <laughs> he didn't have any teeth, you know? That would be a thing. I'd be like, why didn't you put them in for the interview? Put the perfect <laughs> smile in. Yeah. yeah. Like, get the dentures that you can buy on. That's like, true. I That's don't true. know. I, look, obviously we differ. I, I don't. I'm not sure why we're disagreeing on this topic, but I feel like. Ugh. Okay, well, let's go back to. Can I debut something first? The greatest holiday that just passed. Okay, go ahead. I'm gonna do YMH debut exclusive. Are you guys ready? Oh, you're gonna do an exclusive. Well, shit, you got to get me ready for something like that. <laughs> Hold on. This is a YMH exclusive. YMH now, exclusive. YMH thank you, Tom, for that sure. thoughtful intro. Uh, you guys have known me. I wear I wear glasses for reading, and I've recently got a new prescription, and I got new frames, and I thought I would debut them on the show. This is the YMH exclusive? Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Go well, ahead. that's kind of exciting for me. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm very excited about them, and I was waiting yeah. eagerly for them to be done. Yeah. You don't think anything's more exciting than new glasses? Yeah. Okay, ready? Yeah. So these are for when I do the show. Wow. Very nice. Look at that. They're not as thick as the other Those ones. Those are very nice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, guys. You like those? Okay. And then I got these are called graduals. What are these again? Gradations. Progressives. Progressives. Right. And they and I think so. Yeah, progressives. And I don't then know. you can read here, uh -huh. and then you look far. Is that far what they're there. called? No, Bifocals? progressives. They're called. What are progressives? progressives? I go. See, I read yeah. like that, and then I go far away there. Yep, multiple fields. Yeah. To be incorporated into it's a single really one. It's really exciting. And how about um? And he's got a hold and look. Look like he just won um. Yeah. Uh, uh, Slam poetry contest. <laughs> <laughs> what's up, baby? It's hot sauce. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> we spicy as fucking here, dog. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah what you're homie. Yeah, yeah, I mean yeah. that. Um, yeah, the shades. Those are nice. Thank you, man. Yeah, I'm just, you know, I, I'm trying to follow my uh, my main man Bert. He likes to reclaim his power a lot, you know, by not drinking for like a couple of days. That's what you're doing. I'm doing the same thing. I, I'm still, you know, I'm drinking, but okay. I just, you know, I'm, I'm making hot sauce part of my lifestyle. Now. You look like wow. you're really feeling like like swag on a thousand today. Like, I really feel it. I appreciate that. Dude. Yeah. Oh, my absolutely. God. You know what I just realized? Mm. He's dressed like the Sriracha bottle. Nick, the, Nick. the cap is the top of the Sriracha bottle. Oh. I was yeah. like, and he's wearing a Sriracha shirt. It's a, it's a whole thing. Dude, I was like, what's the beanie about? Like, yeah. I get the shirt, and now I just put it together. That's really clever. You're like, why is, yeah. it, why is it green? Yeah. yeah. I guess that's a weird look. Dude, he's really embracing he his puts, hot sauce he lifestyle. He puts thought into his choices, you know? What's up? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I'm, yeah. Trying, I'm trying to be like you guys, man. It looks good. Spicy as fuck. Looks good. There's a there's a uh, hot sauce is the best uh, shirt in the store now. Yes, of course yeah, there yeah, is. Yeah. <laughs> cool. There should be. Yeah, yeah, it's really nice. It's pretty rad. Yeah, we I'm, didn't have one of those in the studio handy, so uh, I tried to make my own thing work. Oh, it's coming. It's coming. It's, com it's coming. What do you mean it's coming? You mean like it's being shipped here? Yeah, you're gonna get one. You're gonna get one, and oh, okay, you know, hell yeah. There's there's all kinds of stuff coming. All right, man. Maybe I'll be a Tabatillo bottle next. I don't know. Uh -oh. Oh, shit. oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yeah. I like Tabatillo. Hot sauce is that. the best. You know what it is. <laughs> you know what else is the best? <laughs> Sex is best. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Hot sauce is the best. Hot sauce is the best. Sex is Sex is best. The hot sauce is the best. <laughs> They're both okay, the best. Okay, okay. All, right. All right. Yeah, I get it. I get the joke. I got the joke. I wonder where you got to dress yeah. up like for the next episode. Oh, yeah. There's only one type of sex suit I could wear. Uh-oh. Oh, I don't want that. <laughs> <laughs> by, the way, by the way, I was thinking about it. It just occurred to me that like, and he dropped his big problem of having a, a large penis on us. Do you realize that? No. Did like he? two episodes ago, he's like, boo-hoo, woe is me. I have the biggest that's, dick. Really? That's not what I, I didn't say that. I, I said Because you guys asked if we would a, uh, add inches to our dick. And I said no, because I think then it would be like paint. Like it wouldn't be a good thing if it was bigger. Right. too much bigger. But yeah. that is kind of like a soft flex. Yeah, that's uh, what I'm no saying. No pun intended of being like, ugh, like. If I had more money, I don't even know where I'd put it. Like yeah. Kind of <laughs> you know? 
Yeah. 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 It felt like he was a little like a little braggy. But I mean, or... it was the he. It was a clever way of doing it. It was either yeah. completely unintentional or you know a, a very yeah. clever way of doing He's it. Like guys, I have this problem. My dick is so big. <laughs> it's not. It's not. <laughs> Check the tapes, dog. Yo. <laughs> and then he started crying about it. Yo. My dick Penny, is just so just, big. It hurts. What are your measurements? Just go ahead. <laughs> oh my god, man. No. <laughs> I've already told you really too much about you have, you've, so have, you, the have you given them before? You've given them on the show before? On the show? No. No, no, no. no okay. I'm just saying I've given everything else, though. That's true. <laughs> Shit, that's like the only thing I fucking motherfuckers don't know about me. Million ass niggas know way too much shit about <laughs> Hey, yo, man. <laughs> yeah. Way too much. Okay. Okay. So you like to keep that to yourself. <laughs> Private. That's the only thing I got left, man. Okay. okay. That's the only okay. thing I got left. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure you'll get it out of me too. <laughs> yeah, sure. It's gonna be some some sketch. Okay. That's gonna be the new fucking drop, at the beginning of the show. God damn. Because you're right though in that most men do just say like, "I'll I'll definitely take more," you know. Yeah, and then Eddie yeah. was like, "I can't. I'm all full." Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Like I couldn't possibly yeah. add another inch to this big dick. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, and I didn't want to point it out yeah. in the moment because yeah. I was like, I wasn't sure if I wanted to take to, it there. Yeah, yeah. Sure. and then. And then today you're like, I will take it there. <laughs> yeah, because then, then I saw like a meme. Yeah, yeah. Somebody had done a meme on his big dick problem. Oh, your big dick problems make our dick soft. Oh, what, that's oh, that's, that's not right. the meme. But yeah. I, I just think like, and then yeah. I was like, oh yeah, that's his problem in life. I think didn't any everybody else said they would take. Yeah, and a dog no. was like, I would no. take more. No, chat, chat said he's good too, right, chat? Right. What's up, baby? Well, I think the question was, would you change anything about it? Not, not. No. Nah. Like, it's yeah, little, so you want it bigger. My reasoning was a little different than any's. Mine wasn't, uh, you know, oh, it's too big. It's more like I've known it for so long that I, I've become kind of a master of my craft. I wouldn't really want to, <laughs> you know, change it in any respect. way. Respect. Yeah. A master respect, of Chad. Me. I respect that answer. <laughs> any, or any. Uh, Nadav, you change? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Solo? Sure, why not? Yeah. 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 I mean, I don't, I, yeah, if I could change my meow, there are things. What I, would you change about your meow? Well, two children have blasted out of there. It oh. doesn't look the same as it did. It looks the same. It, not to me. Really? I mean, I noticed these things because I knew, I know what she looked like before two kids exploded out of her. Mm -hmm. You know, like, bro, I, I push my bladder out through my uh, cervix. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, I, I fuck some shit up down there. I hear you. I've had two episiotomies. What would you change about my dick? Oh, stop. <laughs> that's really what. That's really who people should be stop. asking. No, that's really they shouldn't be asking guys. What they should ask the girl. I know. What would you change about your guy's dick? Well, I'll tell you this: I didn't yeah. marry any of the guys before you for a reason. Hey, right? now, nice. Because those dicks weren't good enough for me. Uh oh! Wow, soft flex, Tom. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you just have the perfect dick, I guess. I guess. Oh. He does. You know, I did hear that from multiple women. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> uh, yeah, they were like, this thing is. I think it's, I love when that yeah. Chef YRD. There you go. Mwah. Mwah. It yeah. was it's great. It's magically delicious. Thanks. Your dick is the best. Yeah, but if I still had an option, <laughs> I think like. Say Tom's dick is the best, Danny. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> he's not doing that. Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. You couldn't pay me enough, dog. <laughs> Tom's dick is Hell the no. best. <laughs> Uh, um, hey, Joe. No, but it's true that every, every, like, I would, if you offered me, like, you can do the, it'll just be magically different. I'd be like, Offered yeah. to do your peener or my vag? No, my peener. I'd be oh. like, I'd be like, yeah, throw another inch on it and then give it a little more bulk, you know, a little more girth. Why not? But then, like Chad was saying. He's right. I understand. I also, if somebody was like, here's an experimental thing, it might work. I'd be like, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> it works. Everyone seems to be happy. Yeah. I'm fine. Well, because because also, I mean, look at, to Chad's point is like y what you have is what I'm used to for like 20 years. That's true. And the other thing is this: I don't think I ever, if something like porn didn't exist, like if I hadn't seen so many dicks, I would never think to be like, oh, I need uh, a bigger dick. I'd never think that. I swear I wouldn't. I'd be right. like, what? I've you know. It works fine. Because you see porn. But the porno guys have abnormally. Some do. Right? Some of them don't even don't. But, it, but I'm saying it's like it's seeing guys yes. do it. Yeah, of course, some have gigantic ones. And you see that and you're like, Jesus. Actually, some of them, I've seen them in porn where I've been like, I don't want that. 
I've, that's too big. I don't want it. Well, there's freaky. Like fr- I've seen freakish. like freak dicks where I'm like, that's not, I don't want that. Yeah, of course. No. And nobody, I mean, I don't want that in They look, of they me. look like weapons. Yeah. Like some of them look like. Or like. Weapons. Or like, uh, yeah. I'm like a torture device, like. you know? Yeah. <laughs> like they're like, <laughs> holy shit. It's like an, an abnormality. Like yes. the guy's dick is, looks like a grotesque abnormality. But then some you're like, God, that looks delicious. I mean, like, it looks cool. <laughs> it looks cool. You know what I mean? Uh, stupid. You're stupid. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. I've been thinking about it, and I wanted to bring that up with any. Yeah. Well, what I will say is I, I've always said, and I asked on the first Drew show that I was on, if I could make the flaccid dick bigger. Because that is a, I fucking hate that. My flaccid dick be like a motherfucking nothing. It's like a. Oh, you're giant. a grower. You're a grower. Yeah, yeah, but it's the worst. I don't know. Like I know. I know. I, I know exactly what you mean. If, Sometimes, like for me, I'll be like, "This is, looks like a peanut," yeah. and then yeah, you're like, "Come on, let's put a little." I think, by the way, isn't that what like the advertised dick pills do? I don't mean Cialis Vi- Viagra. I mean when they're like, "Make your penis bigger." Aren't they actually selling? flaccid like they're just opening your capillaries right oh, so that blood flow right? so that your flaccid state because you know your flaccid state has different states like no. you have no like sometimes you're like i have a good hang today right like you're you, oh yeah you know what yeah, i mean yeah, and you're yeah. like this moment i'm not hard but it's like hanging better yeah but it's definitely. nice to show yeah you'd be like you could look at it now right <laughs> yeah yeah right so isn't that what those pills are selling i've always wondered is that what that is? I don't is? think so. I I don't. Yeah. Really? I mean, that would if they. I mean, I'll let you know. <laughs> I like, mean, because the, they know. say in those because Cialis, about the, Cialis, Cialis Viag- ones? or even the commercial ones. I bet Cialis you Chad Viagra, knows. Cialis Viagra <laughs> is is erectile dysfunction. Mm-hmm. These there's a, there's an ad like Jimmy Johnson used to do the commercials where it was like make your penis bigger. Like not do you have trouble getting an erection? Make your penis bigger. But I think what that, I always interpret that as, oh, I think they're inter- uh, selling, make your flaccid state mm, appear bigger. Not your boner. Right. Like <clears throat> Viagra makes your boner bigger, right? It lets you have a boner or oh, a, a right. boner on command, basically, right? I don't, I don't know. know. These are all interesting dick questions, and I know there's a urologist out there listening. Yeah. Please I mean, I, I, mean I tell you, well, I'm definitely going to do some research for you, uh, mm-hmm. probably tonight. <laughs> oh, <laughs> if, really? If that's what it does, mm-hmm. I mean... <laughs> Dick Pill City, baby. I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm on that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get this flaccid dick looking way better. Yeah, flaccid is a real, yeah. It's fucking worse. Oh, Chad, really? do you have any insight in this? Chad, what's the science? Uh, I'll, I would have to also do some research. But you understand what my assessment yeah, is. Yeah, I think okay. it's more one gives you an erection and the other one kind of gives you uh, more volume in, oh. in the regular yeah. dick. Well, you know, as a as a woman who enjoys dicks, yeah, I I don't care about what the flaccid hang. Really? I it never because I know that's not every girl says that every and, and I believe I'm being it. I believe it, but it just it feels it's it true. Feels that way. Ma- that's the, that's that's that your guys's. It is true, it's, but I'm saying it's all. It's, it's in your yeah. Yeah, because when you're flaccid and it's like really small you're like jesus christ <laughs> like, do you beat yourself up you're like oh yeah fuck, you're I like God, i'm just gonna tug on this thing for a second give it a little bit of <laughs> a little weight to it yeah, yeah. Man, but, I, used to, I used to joke you know what joking is <laughs> joking is is you just sit in the fucking shower or whatever and you just milk you just milk the dick it was a old like they said that it's supposed to make your flaccid dick bigger you just sit there you just do that just continuously i used to do that as a kid i was like and fucking 15 just sitting in the shower just to show it to somebody dick? No, like it's supposed to just make it like oh just nat like overall bigger. Yeah, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. I did it for like a like at least a year. It doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Such a waste okay. of my time. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Shit. But yeah, it's a lot. Of, it's a huge problem to have the dick problem. Oh, As a man. woman, I'm glad I don't have that. I mean, and we have like that's the thing stuff, about it too but, is uh, that you know there there are people listening, watching, even not that have. Like really small ones, yeah. And there's nothing you can really fucking there's do. You just have to get to a point of acceptance and pair up, match with somebody who that's that's a match for. Which there is somebody. Yeah, there is somebody. There's for a lot you. of women that don't like but, penetration, but we get it really in our heads. I know. You know, like everything becomes about your dick size. That's so interesting. Yeah. And well, and yeah, it becomes an obsession. Mm-hmm. For I mean, at least in a, in a time period in your life, you know, like mm-hmm. when you're entering puberty and. And like you're becoming sexually active, and you're like, what the fuck do I do? I mean, 
you know? Yeah, but then girls get obsessed with our boobies and our bodies yeah. and how fat we are and how not fat we are. But the, there's like this thing where like it doesn't, I mean, I guess like in a way it does, like dicks like define your masculinity, oh. you know, they define it. Yeah. And um, the truth is, you know, no, a guy, I mean, they might like big tits more, or something, you know, or something like that. But they don't really, guys really don't care, you know? Yeah. I mean, there's some guys who are like, that's their, they, for sure, that's their thing. But for the most part, I feel like yeah, I've, I've, never really I've found them. in my life that males are so forgiving of women's, what we perceive to be flaws. Oh, my God. Like, most normal and, guys don't give a shit. And the narrative, and I've learned this, is that women are more forgiving, right? And then it's actually bullshit. Because you know what? Like, if a guy, it really is. If a guy goes like, I don't know, I don't like girls that like, I don't like big girls or, or something like that, everyone's like, you're a fucking piece of shit. Like, they'll just slam the guy, right? Yeah. A woman is allowed to be like, don't talk to me if you're under six feet. Oh, that's true. And it's like, it's such a shitty, like, you can that's laugh true. about it, but what about like, you know, you're, so you're just going to like cut out this segment of the population yeah they're not tall enough for me mm -hmm. the funny thing about that is that most guys if you've dated a, a little bit you've been out with girls who are five one five eight five ten and you're like yeah you know you vibe with who you vibe with i mm -hmm. never was like doesn't matter she was short no i've she dated short guys i've dated yeah. a couple of shorties yeah i just it i think fine. it's kind of funny that we don't point out the hypocrisy in that. That like. Well, there's a power dynamic, right? And I generally hate to point out this kind of stuff because I feel yeah. like it's an overused argument. Yeah. But it, as as the whatever in the mating process, the women have the pick of the litter, right? Sure. We control mating. Yeah. Yes, no. You, I want you. I don't want you. I want to make babies with you. I don't. Want, so we we hold the cards when it comes to I get reproduction. It. I would say this though: if you're a man and you're, you know under six feet and some woman says that shit to you about you know oh you're not tall enough yeah why don't you crack her in the fucking knee and say who's tall now stupid you know okay what do you want to eat tonight maybe you want a home-cooked favorite but don't feel like going to the store do you want something exciting and new but would much rather stay in instead doordash connects you with everything you want whenever and however you want it do you want pizza? Do you want cookies? Do you want Mediterranean? Do you want deodorant that you forgot to buy? They will hook you up. They will go pick it up and bring it to your house. Along with the restaurants you love, you can now get your groceries and other essential items delivered with DoorDash. Get drinks, snacks, other household items in under an hour. What are you craving? Uh, late night ice cream? Forget that one key ingredient for dinner. Or maybe you still want to stock up for the weekend. With over 300,000 partners, you can support your neighborhood go-tos or choose from your favorite national restaurants. Ordering is easy, and your order will be left safely outside your door when you choose the contactless delivery drop-off. For a limited time, our listeners can get 25% off and zero delivery fees on their first order of $15 or more when you download the DoorDash app and you enter the code YMH. That's 25% off, up to a $10 value, and zero delivery fees on your first order when you download the DoorDash app in the App Store and you enter the code YMH. Don't forget, that's code YMH for 25% off your first order with DoorDash. Subject to change, terms apply. This episode is brought to you by Stamps.com. Time is money. Don't waste either with repeated trips to the post office. With Stamps.com, you can skip the trip and focus on how to take your small business to the next level. Stamps.com lets you print official postage right from your computer, and it saves you money in the process so you can spend less time at the post office and more time making your customers happy. We've been using Stamps.com for, oh, a decade now uh, because that's how wonderful of a service it is. It has completely changed how we deal with uh, getting our packages out. Why Why go to the post office? You don't have to. Stamps.com gives you access to all the post office and UPS shipping services right from your computer. Get discounts you can't find anywhere else, like up to 40% off USPS rates and 76% off UPS. Stop paying, stop overpaying. Uh, for shipping with Stamps.com, sign up at Stamps.com slash mom for a special offer that includes a four-week trial plus free postage and a digital scale. No long-term commitments 
or contracts that stamps.com slash mom. So I, I <laughs> although my argument may not work anymore because <laughs> I was watching a documentary about about how people are dating and courting now. Mm -hmm. And because you can just swipe on humans, like boys now hold the cards a lot more. Cause mm -hmm. now men can be like, oh bitch, you don't wanna fuck me? There's five other bitches in this neighborhood Absolutely. that wants to fuck me. Yeah. Whereas you used to just be relegated to your geography. Now, yeah, yeah he can fuck, and, and, and the girls are putting out, that's just what I hear. I sound like an 80 year old person. I don't know, like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I get it, I get what you're saying. The pressure to put out without knowing somebody, yeah. I think is a little bit more, I don't know, back in, back in my day, yeah. he had to take you out. I know. Just Feed make sure. And fuck you. Make sure you check that bitch if she says something like that. God too. damn it, Tom. What? Just letting them know. Keep encouraging these guys. That's all. Jesus. But you know what I do tell our sons is don't don't date mean girls. Yeah, of course. Don't marry a mean girl. Like, make sure she's nice to you the way mommy is nice to daddy. She cooks for you. She takes care of you. She's yeah. sweet to you. Yeah. Mean girls ruin your life. Mean yeah. girls are the worst. Yeah. Nice girls don't give a fuck about the stuff you're talking about. That's true. They don't. Good, nice chicks don't go like, oh, you're And the, honestly, the chicks that I'm talking nine. about are not desirable. Like, that's not a person they're you bitches. really want to be with. You yeah, know? those are shitty girls. And they're going to end up sad and fucking alone. Of course. Yeah. They're going to be on these dating shows and they're going to say things like, my standards are just too high. Yeah. Nobody's good enough for me. Like, because wow. well, you're, you're a horrible person. Nobody yeah. wants to be around you, crazy. Yeah, you're, you're that's why. wildly insecure. And yeah. This is why no one's dating you. It's not yeah. because you have high standards. You don't bring that much to the fucking table, yeah. let's be honest. Wow. You know? Who hurt you? Yeah. Somebody hurt Tom in yeah. the past. No, no, I'm just saying you smell you smell like garlic and you got you're you're not that impressive. And I'm just you smell I'm, like garlic. I'm just trying to I'm trying to stand up for all these short kings that are watching. Okay. Now let's uh <laughs> so stupid. You tell me that all the time that my mouth smells like garlic or like um flavors. What? Yeah. <clears throat> Cause I eat I eat spicy, flavorful foods. Uh I can't taste anything since I had COVID. You know, hmm. You, like do, a year you are. You, you do like a lot of ethnic tastes. I like ethnic foods. You know, I don't like make this too serious, but there is a pretty serious situation going <laughs> on in um, in Eastern Europe right now, oh. and a surprise, a surprise supporter of uh, Vladimir Putin um, that totally went over my head, and I just want to point it out real quick. By the way, I will hardcore drop everything to party with Vladimir Putin. He's putting that out there too. <laughs> Hardcore. When I'm in Russia, I will go out of my way to if he wow. says, "Hey, me and you ride horses, shirtless, hey, a dacha." Huh? Yeah, yeah. I'd yeah. be like, "Fucking pajam, bitch, let's go." <laughs> wow, I didn't know that. Disappointing. So on top of disappointing, being fat, racist, yeah, has sex with animals. He looks cute here. He's this, he does look cute. Has this yeah. an old clip? Yeah. Yeah, this yeah. must be from. But it's not from like 91. Pandemic. It's from like 16 months well, ago. Well, let me put my. I have a. So, yeah. apropos this discussion. Yeah. I have a great email. Here. Oh, you do? Mm hmm. What Remember is it? that guy who went over the Texan mm -hmm. to fight for the Russian team? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I have some intel. Okay. Hey guys, just finished up on the recent podcast and heard you mention the guy in Russia. Boy, could I give you a deep dive on this guy. Dude got a dad boner in 2014 and joined the separatist movement in Donetsk, Ukraine, and eventually became a Russian citizen. The guy literally wrote a book about it, but it seems close to a manifesto. Obviously, he's from Texas, okay? Uh, but he's actually a fugitive wanted by U.S. Marshals. Look this guy up under the moniker of the Donbass Cowboy. Come on, try it out. Other than that, love you, jeans. Keeping it high and tight. And oh yeah, Annie, you are right. Hot sauce is the best. There you go. Um, here we go. Stand up. <laughs> Suggest we're both done. It's chaos on the front line with the denazifiers and liberators <laughs> of Ukraine. These guys are tough. These guys are ready. And there's plenty of them. So far, Russia has used about 10% of its military power. And we're getting ready to bring the hammer down. These guys There you go. Nice. Wow. Yeah. Um, D O N B A S S. If you oh, the, is a photo of him here? The Texan. Huh. Okay. What's his name? Russell. 
Uh, Russell Bentley. Russell Bentley. Okay. The Russian army is going to liberate. Yeah. That's Very an interesting cool. narrative that they're liberating from Nazism. That's what Putin's saying. It's just a completely made up thing. It's yeah, it's pretty funny. wild. Well, so yeah. Um. All right. Well, he seems like a really cool guy. Yeah, that's cool. I could see you guys going on a date. You don't think so? No, I would. You would? Like, here's the thing about me. Entertaining. Yeah. Be a good. I'll tell you. I'll tell you what, Tom. Yeah. Is that I've never had a type. People are like, what are your type? What are your type? I never had a type. Mm-hmm. However, I've always liked like beardy yeah. ba- bears. I've always, yeah. I do gravitate towards like sure men, you know. Uh, but I would, I would give him a shake. Like seriously, if he were like intelligent and funny. Well, you, I mean, cool. you, I think you can see what's going on with intelligence. Yeah, no, maybe not. I like his hat. I mean, it's a cool leather cap. The fact that you would give this guy a shake is fucking. <laughs> <laughs> if you saw my dating, if I could show you pictures of every dude, you'd yeah. be like, "There's this is wildly diverse." Really? Yeah. All right. I've been with you know um, the tall, lanky yeah. Russian Jew. I've mm. been with uh, Puerto Rican, little tiny Puerto Ricans. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Asian. Yeah. Chinese guy. Yeah. It's true. Um, what one white guy? Uh, the crackers. Uh, boring. No, the the goth guy. Oh, well, that, yeah. yeah. Jewish. You keep pointing that out. Well, because that's the, you, know, you have to describe people as Jews, right? Caddy? What? Pat, Patty? What's the question? I don't know. Uh, diverse. I've only had one cracker. Like Mine was kind of diverse. Go ahead. I mean, well, <laughs> I guess it's not that diverse. <laughs> uh, Brunette, blonde, blonde, blonde. There's a number of blondes. Yeah. We're talking about like slam pieces too, right? Not ah. just. <laughs> So a number of blondes. I mean, you could definitely see what my preference is. But, you know, I gave some uh, dark hairs a little go at it. And then um, um, I slept with um, some, I mean, a black woman, uh, uh, an island woman, um, an Asian woman. Island woman? woman. Yeah, you know. Who's the island girl? I don't fucking know her name. Um can I read some more emails? This sure. is depressing. <laughs> okay. I, I'm going to, I'm going to okay. die. I yeah. wish I hadn't brought this up. There's so many follow up emails. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for sending these in. These are very important hot topics. So, go ahead. Uh, this one is about follow up on, uh, you know, holding, uh, shitting for fucking. And oh, okay. The hierarchy of, of needs. Hey, Tommy and Tina, 24 year old dumb broad here. Once I felt a shit coming on as things were getting steamy, but decided to clench my cheeks and continue. Right as things were coming to a climax, it jumped to a 10 and a little turd squeezed through, never taking the chance again. We're still together, but I wish my butthole was as strong as any. Hot sauce is the best. Wow. That's got to be such a mortifying moment. Terrible. Particularly more for a woman even, I think. I think for a woman it's tough. I mean, it's rough for anybody, but I think for a woman it would be more horrifying. Uh, so this is another email. Listen to YMH. A uh, very important topic of holding your shit to fuck came up, and I'm here to tell you it's a dangerous game. I never told a soul this and will never again, but I played that game and lost. I was with my first new woman in 20 years post-divorce, and we went hard drinking and fucking the night before. The next day we met up again, and I had a serious, <laughs> I had serious bubble guts from the tequila. Like a soldier, I pushed forward all day holding that devil shit in. <laughs> then we start doing it going at it again and i'm going to town with a stamina i had never had before all of a sudden i smelt shit i thought one of us leaked a fart <laughs> no big deal if i finally made white all over her triple d slut tits and we just laid in bed for a good 10 to 15 minutes when it was finally time to go i got up and noticed the shit had leaked out of my what you call it asshole oh no and it had formed the outline of my ass cheeks on her bed she was cool and acted like it wasn't a big deal, but I knew when she called me back, she wasn't the one for me. I won't be with anyone who's okay with someone <laughs> shitting on their bed. What a dick. Unreal. <laughs> anyway, just be careful out there when you need to shit where the dude's at. That's an old reference. What, but this actually supports my math. It sounds like these people were pushing through eight, nines, and tens. <laughs> That's you true. Because you said a seven and under is where I you I said seven's still. the max. Yeah. 
And a seven is like, mm, you could maybe if you sat down. You know, it's not like I'm holding <laughs> this in, right? It's like I could if I sat. Not you. I know what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. If you make it happen. Yeah. If you, if you manifested made it, yes. that shit. These people are fucking rolling. Yeah. The you. Dice. You can't have a diarrhea. Oh, it's a hangover. nine. Let's see what happens. You're gonna shit. That's what's gonna happen. What else you got? Here's another follow-up uh, apropos our discussion on R-worded models. I was recently watching the podcast and have some input on your Victoria's Secret model debate. Just for a refresh, Victoria's Secret has its first Down syndrome model who's also Puerto Rican, so it was like a, a double play, if you will, for diversity on Victoria's Secret. And uh, we were saying that we don't like the idea of somebody who maybe doesn't have the decision-making faculties to be objectified sexually, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, that was the, our argument. This woman writes in, my younger sister has Down syndrome and growing up with her has shaped my perspective. I can say that my sister has wanted to be just about anything, everything. A doctor, a Disney princess, ballerina, but never have I heard her say I want to be a lingerie model. With my experience, this makes me very uncomfortable seeing a Down syndrome model. It's hard to say whether she fully understands the typical role as a model. To me, it feels more like Victoria's Secret looking for some good PR rather than empowerment. Obviously, it's wrong to sexualize this woman, and I feel that she was led into this without understanding truly what modeling is in our society. P.S. The censorship of retarded is retarded. My sister has Down syndrome, and I can say that 90% of people use the R word harmlessly, and the need to censor it is ridiculous. So there you go. Mm. So happy that she supports my argument. Nadav, are you telling him to edit that out? No, oh, I'm so okay. surprised that the tone was so good. Yeah, <laughs> like, it was that, was a, a, that was a great email. It's a good, it was a very good argument. Yeah, yeah ground, okay. grounded very in rational. truth and reality. All right, anything else? Do you want to read this? This is the lawyer chiming in. We have two different lawyers chiming in on opening car doors. Remember we asked whether or not it was illegal to just open somebody's car door. And then oh. lastly, we'll go into this one because this one's okay. just my favorite. All right. Uh, what's up, my king and queen above? Oh, yeah, this is the fucking with locked doors thing I was saying right here. Yeah. yeah. If it's yeah, illegal. Is it though? You got your car door? No, my. <laughs> no. Murray, don't leave your door open. Yeah. Do that leave your door open. <laughs> Why, you yeah. thought you were safe? <laughs> Yeah. He thought you were safe. <laughs> He's just moving people's seats in, right. the, in cars. Yes, so yeah, is this is a crime? Yeah. Right. I haven't read this yet. So. He's a menace. He's Bingo. annoying. He's a douchebag. Bingo. You're an asshole. Bingo. What are you Come doing? On, Do better. Like, are you 13? I was like, you thought the passenger was safe too? <laughs> you thought the passenger was safe? You no. get it. <laughs> and that, this is what I said. Show was your his, face, you That's idiot. what I said his big mistake was. All right. What's up, my king and queen above 18? Just to answer your question about the TikTok of the guy opening doors, moving the seat of that would constitute yeah. a crime. In the state of New York, of Kings County, Queens County, that would be a crime pursuant to penal law 165.05 for the unauthorized use of vehicle in the third degree, a class A misdemeanor, which states a person commits such offense when he knows that he does not have the consent of the owner. He takes, operates, applicable portion, exercises control over, rides in or otherwise uses a vehicle. As expected... Todd has a bigger brain and is correct. Wow. Sign from one Tom to another Tom. All right. It's very nice. Very cool. Um, so it's a misdemeanor. Yeah. That yeah. means it's crazy though. That means that enough people have done it that there has to be a codified law. Yeah. It's funny. Um what's your Oh my God. So this one's great. So apparently some YMH fans went to Ireland um for vacation to the town of Killarney. Mm -hmm. And they ran into our favorite guy, the thick um, Irish accent guy whose name I don't Tell me Jan Jordan Jackson. Okay. That guy. <laughs> right? <laughs> so fucking amazing. For those who will never have the joy of meeting him, here's what I can say. So this is this is like the real intel. And if you guys don't guy. know who we're talking about, just real quick. So what do you think makes it a great talent? Oh, again. Yeah. Lots of tourists around. It's great, isn't it? Great. Give me a job, boy. <laughs> yeah. That's great, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. So, okay, so here's some fun facts. Five five real facts about our friend, the drunk. Ready? Yeah. Number one, yes, he is surprisingly still alive. Which is... That is actually very surprising. <laughs> He's outlasted many of the guys on this wall. So that's a huge thing. Yeah. Number two, he smells like cigarettes and Guinness, which is probably not surprising. You would have imagined that. Yeah. Yes. Number three... 
Him and his two friends sit in one of two bars, O'Connor's and Jack C's, all day long, and just stare at the TV watching infomercials. <laughs> Someone was advertising some kitchen device for making soup, and I distinctly heard him yell out, Chicken and leek soup! He likely has to eat most of his meals in soup form, given his lack of teeth. He has very few teeth. <laughs> I don't think you would hire him to work for you. I would. No. <laughs> Probably for other reasons, yeah. too. And before, it seems like nobody really understands what he's saying. I asked one of his friends at the bar that sits here with him like every day what he's saying. And the guy turns to me and says, fuck if I know. So, <laughs> <laughs> so it's not even like, oh, I'm Irish. I get it. People are like, this guy is fucking a mess. Universally, yeah, yeah. nobody understands what the fuck he's saying. Fuck if I know. <laughs> <laughs> Number five, after rewatching the clip of him on YMH, I can clarify something. He's asked if O'Connor's is the best pub in Killarney, and he definitely replies, quote, I move around between O'Connor's and Jack C's. You thought he was saying he just jacked off, but he likely just came from Jack C's, where maybe he just jacked off. Oh. Keep it high and tight, Evan. And he also photos are enclosed with our YMH. Oh, okay. Listeners. A horn. And, and is this your regular spot? We're in O'Connor's bar. I want right? Jack C's to own all his red. Jack, tell me to change John and Jack said. Okay. I moved around. <laughs> you moved around a lot. I mean, like this, Jack. He didn't even get, the guy didn't uh. even get that. He wasn't like, oh, you go between Jack's and he was like, you move a lot. Like, he, he, he barely put it together. <laughs> Fucking A. I will say, though, that he is very well-dressed for a drunk. I would agree with that. I mean, he looks dapper. I would, that's a little stretch. It's a but little far. The, but it, The yeah. guy's dressed better than we are Put right together now. for a drunk. Yeah. Yes. yes. He's in Margaritaville every day. There he is. There he is. <laughs> There's Evan. He's, he's dressed nicely here. He looks great. Yeah. This guy's existence is to be drunk. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? His whole life. It's Margaritaville. He wakes up in Margaritaville. <laughs> That's what he is. Yeah. He just goes and he sits at the bar and they watch infomercials. Oh, there he is. God. But I mean, what a lucky find to I wonder, stumble You know what I would this. do? I would pay <laughs> to talk to a doctor after giving that guy a physical. Just to be like, what's going on with this guy? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, can oh you God. give him a physical and like let us know? <laughs> What are the effects of this much drinking? I know, and like how bad it is. But he looks okay. He doesn't look that bad, actually. I think the secret to his success is that he's skinny. He can't be a fat drunk. He, yeah. He's still skinny. He's got some of his teeth left. Yeah. Skin's okay. Yeah. You know what would be great is if people could do a YMH world tour, mm -hmm. and in every city you get, you meet up with like another YMH thing. Like, this is Killarney. And it's then, a... Hold on, hear me out. Yeah. You go to New York City, you hook up with Robert Paul Champagne. He's your tour guide. You go to wherever it is, where does Tony Johns live? Utah? Yeah, some of these are not that safe. <laughs> <laughs> so speaking of drunks, can I do a would you rather with you? Of course. Okay, yeah. are you ready? Yeah. So I came up with this because I became obsessed with our Margaritaville discussion. Yeah. yeah. Cause I you know what's interesting as a couple. As you and I have been together for so long, mm -hmm. I thought we discovered everything that we mutually hated, and then we stumble upon something new. Oh, right. And it's kind of exciting. It reinvigorated yeah. our relationship a little bit, discovering our disdain for Margaritaville. Mm -hmm. So this is my would you rather, apropos our discussion of Margaritaville. Ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. Would you, <laughs> would you rather, every time you want a drink, any alcoholic beverage, uh -huh. you have to go to Margaritaville God to drink. God damn it! it. <laughs> okay, but you can drink anything. Like you can you can drink the wine. You can have the high bar whiskey. They have what you want. Whatever you want, but you have to drink it in Margaritaville. Is, this, is there one nearby? Yeah, there's one downtown Austin. Okay, which is easy. So like, but it's literally like I would love a glass of wine with my steak. Well, well you, you have to go down to Margaritaville. You gotta do it in Margaritaville, it. and you have to listen to the music. And with all the drunks and everything, I okay? There's a pretty good chance already I'm just done drinking. Go ahead. <laughs> or you may drink anywhere of your choosing, any location. Okay. However, it has to be one of the fun drinks on the Margaritaville menu. Oof. So it's only like the Alabama Slammer. Yeah. The Tequila Sunrise Sunshine, whatever That's the only thing you're allowed to drink. You can only drink the blended awful drinks. You can't get the wine. You can't get the whiskey. It's got to be the ridiculous 
the ridiculous blended drinks. Like just five different sugars. <laughs> yeah, here we go. <laughs> here we go. Here's 40 different margaritas. <laughs> A watermelon. Uptown Top Shelf. The last mango in Paris. <laughs> Feeling hot, hot, hot. Spins to the left. But hold on. And you bring this menu with you, print it out to any bar, and you're like, wait, can you recreate this? Can this you make this sunset cruise for me, please? <laughs> I'm thirsty. Can I get a bootlegger? But you know what makes me laugh is that <laughs> booze in the blender. <laughs> Go ahead. But you know what's so great about this? I like that you can take home your 22 ounce <laughs> souvenir blender cup. So you have to ask for one of their boat drinks. Their uh, booze in the blender. It's like I want. I want the five o'clock somewhere. Oh my god! And then and then the bartender naturally will go. Well, what's that? Well, it's Margaritaville Silver Rum in Paradise. Passion fruit tequila. Can I get a lightning strike? <laughs> <laughs> or a Bahama Mama. I like incommunicado, which just suggests you don't want to be able to speak. You know? <laughs> Can you make me blackout drunk right now, please? <laughs> <laughs> the Sandy Shandy. And yeah. you're like, you're in every city and you're you're out with your friends after the show and sure. you're like, you gotta make me a, a lightning strike. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think, I'm, I, think I quit drinking. <laughs> I really do. I knew you'd say that. Yeah, I think I would just quit drinking. <laughs> I mean, I don't think it'd be that hard. With If those were my options, I'd be like, I don't drink anymore. I think this might put me off of alcohol, too. Yeah. Because yeah. I would hate to go to Margaritaville, because I just drink wine. Yeah. I would hate it. You'd have to go there to get it. Fuck that. Yeah, I'd rather just stay sober and feel my awful feelings. Yeah. You know? A zombie. Yeah. Margaritaville Silver Rum. So that's another thing. They're selling you the brand of alcohol, right? So it's Margaritaville Silver Rum. What is that? Yeah. It's their own branded dog shit. You don't even know what that is. Uh, yeah. Yeah. This is horrible. <laughs> All this is hangover Here, juice. I need to laugh. Uh-oh. Let's look at something funny. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Ooh, fuck, you didn't laugh at that. Not at it, not a bit. <laughs> <laughs> that person is not. Great. Can you describe to the people just listening what you saw? I mean, a Jeep Wrangler on the beach took a hard angle, hauling ass, rolled over a couple of times, and then the roof came off, and a person flew out of it. It seemed like they were going in slow motion for a second. Like they were like, Ooh, like levitating. Oh, yeah, it was really cinematic. Yeah, it was kind of really cool. That's really cool, Tom. I think they're fine. I think it's okay. You should. It's fine, yeah. Yeah. But that, you should wear a seatbelt. Uh, that person didn't have a seatbelt on. I don't think. Unless the seatbelt got ripped in half when the <laughs> roof came oh, off. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yeah. Can we see uh, another yeah. clip? Sure. Uh, hold on, let me read this real quick. Uh, <laughs> this looks like it's going to be cool. <laughs> oh, yeah. I sent that one in. It's for you. Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is rule one of construction sites. Rule number one is a, ha- a hard hat. I don't think his head got hit. It Dude. fucking hit him in the side of the face, yeah, man. Did. I thought it like bent him. <laughs> no. I thought it was more like a back type of thing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Bro, it just folded his right head in fucking half. Yeah. But, but what would a helmet have done? You know. I mean, it would have it would have like braced some of that impact for sure. He's just cra- he's probably smashed his skull. No. That did that. I mean, this is ob- This is not in the uh, U.S. No, but um definitely not that is rough man yeah i don't know i think God. the jeep was funnier oh i like this one better really i prefer this one yeah because i can see that he stood up that's why we play the clips you know taste, yeah. everybody has different taste different everybody has different taste. Yeah. yeah yeah i thought that was pretty cool also yeah to weigh in on a conversation we were all having here um some people weighed in, in themselves on this this is a cramp. I get 
crayon. I, I see it. I know how it's spelled, but it's a crown. When you're a kid, you play with crowns. 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 This is a crayon. Yeah. Crayon. Two syllables. Okay, this is an orange crayon. Crayon is how you say it. This is an orange crayon. Duh. This is a crayon. A crown goes on your head. It's a crayon. This yeah. is an orange crayon. This is a crayon. I'm supposed to say what this is. It's a crayon. It's a Crayola Duh. crayon. All right, I say crayon. This is an orange crayon or orange crayon. Which one? Probably the first one. That's a crayon. Without question, it's definitely a crayon. <gasps> I remember him. Yeah. I got, Busby. So this is like a news team, obviously. I know this guy. You know him personally? Yes, I met him in like 2004. You dated? Oh, that's fine. I mean. Busby. He's a, he's a weather guy. Cool. What was he like? He's hot. <laughs> yeah. I agree with him. It's a crayon. It's a crayon. Yeah. I did, I, the funny thing about that is I didn't know that was a debate. We just discovered it on where my mom's at. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't realize that people were saying that I, differently. I didn't know it either until I think I said it, and then you guys were like, what did you say? No, I said it, and it's it was the opposite way. I, oh, said okay. it, I said crayon, and you're like, what are you saying? Yeah. I'm like, crayon. You're like, no, no, crayon. Yeah, it's crayon. One thing's for sure, though. No one said crown, right? No one said crown. <laughs> That's wrong. That's well, stupid. Well, actually, one that's... of those girls did say crown. No, well, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cray, cray. She's saying that nobody oh, heard it. In, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. the no. one thing that I think we all agree on. No. Yeah. No, 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 no. Um, speaking of exclusives and whatnot, um, we actually have a pretty exciting thing going here because you know how we had the uh, smart off? Yes. Who can forget? Um, I've been thinking about that too. It was really something, right? It was amazing. A back and forth battle. Blood was on the ground. Yeah. And ultimately, um, we realized that Chad's the smartest. Yeah. And well, uh, it's completely shifted the dynamic in YMH Studio Jeans. Now. Oh yeah, it's been really. Uh, and then social dynamics so different. Chris Larson's like. And yes, I'm a loser. Yes. <laughs> This episode is brought to you by Dr. Squatch. Dr. Squatch is changing personal care with high performance natural products that smell amazing and will have you feeling and looking your best. Dr. Squatch's products are made using only the finest ingredients Mother Nature has to offer. They're transparent about their ingredients and their production. In fact, all of their products are at least 98% natural in origin. Dr. Squatch has a full lineup of natural products for your entire routine. It's got the soaps, hair care, deodorant, and more, all in fresh scents inspired by nature. Seriously, go ahead, take a look at the label. You can pronounce everything on there. Then compare these ingredients to the harsh chemicals, harmful synthetic, and things you can't even pronounce that are commonly found in generic body wash, deodorant, and hair care. My sweet, sweet, adorable husband, Tom Seguera, uses Dr. Squatch, and I love how he smells fresh as a daisy. New customers can get 20% off on orders of $20 or more. Use my code DSQMOM and click the link in the description below. That's 20% off on orders of $20 or more with code DSQMOM at the link in description. Uh, we were talking about, of course, the uh, the battle for uh, for smart. Mm. So we have a couple of things here. Um, obviously, the room, the the talk around the office is that these guys are not just playfully talking shit to each other, Chad mm -hmm. and Chris. That there's some bad blood, and you probably saw that on Instagram. Uh, Chad recorded a song. I saw this. Wild. Uh, really, it really is wild because I was just doing my scroll and I was like, what is, what's yeah, Chad going to sing? Saw this what's this? My fucking, uh, yeah. I, I mean, I lit up here. Here it is for people who this haven't seen it. This is brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You're a bitch, Chris, and you're not too smart, and you're only getting dumber every day. You think you're right, you're just a dummy. You think you're right, you're a big fucking dummy. Don't be a Chris girl, because he isn't too smart, and he's only getting dumber every day. You think you're 
Whoa. Wow. Now, wait, Annie, did you know you were a part of this song? Yeah, yeah. Chad, uh, uh, he asked me to, to put some backup vocals. I told him, yeah. Wow. wow. So, team Chad, baby. Team Chad. <gasps> Whoa. Oh, what? Man. You're taking teams now? I mean, look, man, the, the office is divided. I, I got to <laughs> choose something. <laughs> wait. I ain't trying to just sit on the sidelines. Wait, what do you, know you mean? mean? Are you not office? loyal to the guy you've been working with for a while? <laughs> working with? I mean, we barely even work together, you know what I'm saying? Like, I work next to him. I, I say more like that than with, you know? So. Wow, um, I didn't realize. Ash, do you feel the same way, Nadav? I'm team Chris. He's always been my moral barometer, and I don't I don't. You've, you've always that. been talking about how great, I mean, what a good guy Chris is forever. You could say Chris is my hot sauce. Chris is the best. Chris is the mm, best. Mm. So you want team lose is what you're saying, right? Oh, team L, team L that's who you want? God. Oh, wow. I see. This is vicious. Now, hey, I mean, you started by- uh, Chad, what motivated you to write the song and, for, and record it? Well, Chris was talking a lot of shit last time <laughs> on last round, and uh, I kind of let it slide. I was like, I'll let the results speak for themselves, and I did. I won, so I was just like, whatever. And then I, I watched it back, and yeah, I was like, this guy's calling me a little bitch on the show, <laughs> Yeah, and I just couldn't abide any longer, so. Wow. I, uh, I just, I, first of all, <laughs> I just know that this is great. Um, so good, and what a great song. And he, he did it so seriously at the end. That Fuck you, Chris. That's the part that really sealed it for me. Has good. Chris seen this? Yes. But I have something. I have something that Chad hasn't seen. What? Yeah. We have. This is a YMH exclusive. Oh, wow. First the glasses and now this. It's a, it's an early release of Chris's April video. No. He does one video a month. Yeah. And and people usually wait. They cannot wait. Yeah. To see these. I mean, these are like you know when like new Jordans drop and you <laughs> you're like, why is this line around the block at Foot Locker? Yeah. This is the same thing. Same thing. Mm-hmm. He breaks the internet every month. <sighs> Once a month. So anyway, um here's his April release. Oh wow. Hey everyone, it's April, so here's my monthly post. Quick birthday shout out to Tristan, whose birthday's on the 10th. Happy birthday, Tristan. Hope it's a good one. Um, yeah, with everyone coming back into the office, thought I'd give a few office tips, like be on time, um, listen to people who've been there longer than you, because they probably know a lot more and have a lot to offer. Um, if you're gonna do an office prank, you know, make sure it's actually funny and not mean, because um, that's how office views get started. And, uh, if you're gonna, if you think you're smarter than others, and you know, maybe don't talk about it so much because people don't like that, and especially if the only reason you think that is because you answer a few random trivia questions correctly, <laughs> um, yeah, and definitely don't write a song about it either. And if you do write a song, you know, be original. Don't like parody of someone else's work. And yeah, those are my office tips. See you next month. Bye. Wow. Fuck you, Chad. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! This is going to another level. And here's the thing: it's if you had asked me, <laughs> who do you think? Holy shit! Is the least likely to be violent? Larson. I'd be like Larson. A hundred percent. Chad. And now I'd be like top of the list. <laughs> top of the list. Like I, f- I just we've seen a whole different side of Chris Larson since we've moved to Austin. One thousand percent. First of all, he's wearing a new sweater in that video he wears the same outfit pretty much every day he trims his hair yeah. and he's got this fire in him now it's almost like when someone you thought was a certain way starts dating someone and you're like what's going on <laughs> i know you know your whole personality shifted yeah. well, so so zolo i've asked him to collect some intel zolo what do you know tell us about this feud because we don't get to see it as much what are we missing here I mean, it, it, it's a lot. It's a lot of this every day at lunch. A lot of shit talking. Wow. A lot of hey, who's smarter? And I mean, everyone's kind of getting in on it. Everyone, anytime is, anything comes up, is we, the origin of this that that 
when Chad came in, he was like, I'm going to do things this way and not this way? Like, is that, is that the... Or, like, yeah, like, why like, is Chris flexing you know what I mean? on him in the like, first Like, did he place? come in going, like, I'm doing things my way? I don't think so. I think Chris just felt intimidated because there was another <laughs> smart person in the <laughs> office. Because <laughs> for so long, he's been able to hold that title undisputed. I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like... I, uh, I'm I not mean, just a big dick, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> so, but that is true because for the longest time, Chris Larson was our moral compass. Like yeah. whenever we would be like, "Wait, is this messed up?" And Chris would be like, Chris yes. Would be like yes. "Yes, yes." And he was the smartest person. And then Chad comes along, and yeah. it completely changes the well, dynamic. Here's what we're setting up because this is just building, and and you can feel the blood boiling, and you know, yeah. I, I mean, I'm thinking about hiring full-time security for the office, like yeah. inside the office. They, they've both agreed to another contest. Amazing, right? because yes. Because Chad yes. Yes. is the champ from the first round. Sure. Um, Chris wants more, more of that smoke and, and they're, they're gonna do it. So next episode, we will engage in a smart off, a final one. Is this it forever? Well, I, actually, I, I guess it can't be because if it could be, if um, if Chad wins, it'll be two and zero. Oh. But if Chris wins, then they'll be tied one one. I will probably win. Oh, <laughs> how that's much my boy you, right there. How much are you willing to bet? Like, what's the? I'll take some action. Oh, of course, and the dog will take some action. Wait, what do you think will happen? <sighs> one thing for sure, I'd put money that it's going to be contested by the losing party. But yeah. I mean. <sighs> I think Chris is going to get it. I mean, you feel like he's going to come back on this one. Yeah, Chris. Chris is one of the best redemption arcs of all time. Yeah, and I think that's what we're going to see. And what does Z think? There, what do you think, Zolo? You think it's going to? My money's on Chad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, can, man. And can I tell you something, Chris? I Chris Larson is smarter than most of us. Yes. Yeah. yeah. But I feel like because Chad just came out of the academic world fairly recently. Yeah, maybe he's, he's been, exposed to it more, and he reads books a lot. I yeah. mean, he reads books. I think Chris here. reads a good bit too. He's I've never read. seen him read. He reads. I don't know that he can. Well, he's talked about books he's been reading. He definitely reads. He just, you know, he keeps his books at home. He yeah. doesn't read at work. Oh, see. So, oh. Oh, Jesus. Oh, wow. Well, I would like to tell you what I think is going to happen, but since I'm calling this broadcast, I can't. Um, <laughs> anyway, it's very exciting. I'm a big fan. I'm I'm so happy about but so so what do we what's at stake here? Well, I mean, first of all, it's it's just bragging rights. I mean, that's kind of like the biggest thing. And then I the think title. I think there should be a like some type of punishment to bear for whomever. I agree. I mean, some shows loses. some shows would offer rewards mm -hmm. for winners. Yeah, not at your mom's house. Yeah, we offer punishments for losers. Yeah, and this is a primarily a comedy show, obviously. Yeah. So why don't we maybe pay respect to one of the great comedy voices of all time? And what we'll do is, this is a good idea. Yeah. Whoever loses right. has to rock a Charlie Chaplin mustache mm -hmm. for a day. Yeah. Charlie yeah. Chaplin, one of the greatest comedic uh, talents of all Absolutely. time. Absolutely. Great influence on it. I mean, he, he was yeah. the biggest movie star for a while. There he is. There is the yeah. mustache, the and, Charlie Chaplin. And that way. What about the eyebrows, the grease paint eyebrows? Oh, yeah. Too? Maybe yeah. do those. There he is. There he is. So you got to walk around like you're Charlie Chaplin all day. Yep. That would be, be a good fun. one. That is a good, <laughs> that'd be hilarious. And everyone's going to be like, who do you think you're fucking Charlie Chaplin over yep. here? Yep. Yeah. And you know, some people like I said, be motivated by positivity. Yeah. Ours is don't lose. It's fear. Don't lose. Fear. Don't lose unless you want everyone to think you're one of the great comedic voices of the nineteen twenties. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I can't yeah. wait for this. That'll be fun. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> I'm a little concerned that you're trying to take my title away so quickly. I think there's a level of wanting to protect Chris around here. Oh. oh. Not for me, baby. Not right. for me. Cool. I mean, any is one hundred percent on your team. I know this guy and that's, he's not, he's not putting us on. He's really on team Chad. Yeah, man. I got, I got a hundred on it. Mr. Nadal. Ooh. Wow. Well, what's up? well, I'd also like to say that, you know, Chad, I don't want to force you to like do anything that you don't want to do, but you not participating will mean that you resign from the contest. And that does mean that you're the loser. Okay. So you true. will need to do the mustache if that's what's happening. Okay. Um, 
Yeah, that's fine. I, so <laughs> if I win, I think it's fine. But if I lose, I think it may or may not be a conspiracy. Just oh my goodness! Planting the seeds of doubt early. Now, why would you? How would it be a conspiracy, though? How? I think they're feeding him the questions behind my back. Oh, that's not possible. That would be unforgivable. No, we don't do that, that here in Studio Jeans. That would be unforgivable. You're not doing that. No. 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 You want? I, I'm sure that I'm very ethical. <laughs> yeah. No, that that's you have our word, Chad. That that is not happening. It, seems, it sounds like he's saying, I don't know what these Jays are up to. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't want to say that, but that's what that sounded like to me, too. <laughs> no way. I want a fair fight, 100%. Who yeah. wouldn't? And yeah. when, when it's over, I'll, I'll even tell you in secret my, what I think. I don't want to influence anything. On who you think's going to win? I, how I think it'll go. Okay. Yeah. And then how you save anybody's it. anybody's game. And, and then you'll know that I'm telling but you the truth. But it is really anybody's game because last time we ended up going into like... Um, citizenship questions that's government maybe chad happened to know things well you never know what somebody has specialized knowledge i know, in, you know? that's I mean, what i'm thinking you could ask a question about you know uh, flying and know that you didn't know someone took a couple flying lessons you that's know what right. i mean like there's just things that you never know what someone has experienced but, but the secret is retention of said knowledge the, it is and it also is for smarts it's a diversification of the questions it's yeah. not just one field of questions right and we've know? made sure to diversify mm. the questions this time around i took a quick peek at some of the questions and i was like oh yeah big fail right here yeah if I was i'm a real dumb dumb yeah, yeah. i wouldn't know any of them yeah so yeah um anyway let me see here let me look at this uh that would be one. I mean, I, so far I see one question I may have gotten correct. I'm looking through two questions I could get correct. There is a variation, which is good. Three I would get correct. <laughs> Four. Okay. Very good. Very good. I'm very impressed, and I think it's going to be a really... A, a really good contest. No, I'm so excited for this. I love this. Yeah. I love this. What? Okay. Where are you going? Uh, Chad's ready. He just rubbed his palms together. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I love this. I love that Chris Larson is fired up, that he's got fire in his belly, that he's like going to fucking, you know? I've never yeah. seen this guy. I've never seen Chris this like I know. energetic or full of life. It's wild. Here, let's, he wasn't um, like this in LA. It's good. I want to show you something. I don't know if you, you want to see something cool. Yeah. You know what I keep thinking is like she's gonna have to drain that whole fucking pool. You think she's gonna drain that pool? Disinfect it. You think she's draining the pool and disinfecting it? Dude, how she nasty are splash that? Out. I know Annie would break up with her right there oh, on the spot. Oh, done, killer. You how, that girl? how nasty? See, that's why you don't do that shit. That's yeah. why you don't do that shit. Fart, nasty ass bitch. No, yeah, you, yeah exactly. <laughs> Stop uh, farting. You know what comes next, right? Why are you trying to do that? You know. Um, but do you, but this makes me think of public pools and how course, fucking disgusting. nasty. Disgusting. Yeah. Uh, how many people shart in public pools that you've swam in? Probably your whole oh, life. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh, or like water slide parks. All that is is sharts and piss. Yeah. I know, dude. It's, it's I mean, it is a miracle that you don't just get pink eye automatically from going to like raging waters. And just get, I mean, you probably, some people probably do and get sick. Hey, do you have a good time here? Yeah, until I got fucking sick. This lady sick shit in the water. Meningitis. And I, and I drank it. Yeah. yeah. That's I how. Bitches was looking oh, for yes. me. Wait, can I tell you a story? Yeah. Bitch, here I go. Um, so, Sarah Tiana, comedian friend. Yeah. We went to Afghanistan to do stand up for the troops. Yeah. Right? Yeah. She came, we came back. So in Kandahar, there's a sewer pond in the middle of the campus there, or the, the campus, the fucking base. Mm -hmm. And it churns the shit. sewer. Yeah. It's essentially like a churning shit fountain. Mm -hmm. And it puts shit flex in the air in Kandahar. And um, we didn't think, I didn't think anything of it. I was like, you know, doing my thing. She came back and had meningitis in Atlanta. And the doctor was like, how did you get meningitis? He's like, the only way to do this is like, if you like inhale shit. She's like, well, matter of fact, 
Funny thing. I was in a little place called Afghanistan this weekend. <laughs> I was inhaling shit yeah. flex. Disgusting. Isn't that wild? Wild. I'm, I'm, I'm amazed that you know everybody on the base doesn't have it. <laughs> I don't know how. Yeah. Anyway, um, go ahead, Jeans. All right. Yeah, it's tour, 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 nonstop tour for us. I'm fucking never stop touring until uh, 2028 when my tour winds down. I'm coming and everywhere. I'm coming everywhere. Um, people keep asking me about... You know, this city and that city, they're all they're all coming, man. International dates are coming. It's amazing how Europe, much you're touring. Australia, Asia, yeah. South America. You're going to be on tour, well, too. Well, that's the thing. You're coming everywhere. I'm coming to very select cities. Yes. Because I, I, I'm taking care of our children, and they usually come with me, which is yeah. nice and fun. April 1st and 2nd, I am in Charlotte, North Carolina at the Comedy the Zone. Comedy Zone. <laughs> And then I'm uh, April 13th here in Austin at Stateside at the Paramount as part of the Moon Tower. Mm-hmm. And then May 3rd at the Regent Theater, Los Angeles, California. I'm so excited. <laughs> as part of the Netflix is a joke comedy festival. May 6th and 7th, Minneapolis tits at Acme Com- uh, Come On Your Comedy Club. Mm-hmm. And then Sperm Vine, California, May 20th and 21st at the Irvine Improv. Your blood is not what's stinking, bitch. June 4th, Atlantic City, uh, the Borgata. And then June 5th. For girls, for oh, yeah. June 5th, Boston, massive huge tits at the Wilbur. Wow. I can't. Hole. I can't That's wait. where it spits. Yeah. And then August at 12th, 13th, Cleveland, Ohio, <sighs> Hilarities. Sex and fest. Yeah. <laughs> And then October 6th, 7th, 8th, Gashville, Tennessee. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that one? That's a. Uh, <laughs> that's a. Uh, what's it called? The Terminate. Cut, the, cut, a, cut uh, a kill a clock. Yeah, yeah, that guy's yeah. amazing. Um, anyway, ChristinaPOnline.com for that's tickets. That's what I say. So ChristinaPOnline.com. Get your tickets. Get your tickets. Get your tickets. I like women. <laughs> Bro, I like women. Yeah. Uh, real quick, I wanted to compliment you. Pretty much every day. I land in your stories and you have been, uh, your talk game has been Thank you. really impressive. Thank you. I mean, I, I thank you so much. I feel lately thank less you. sad, more amused, laughing, yeah. you know? Well, you know, I think, I think what happens is the algorithm changes as humans go through phase, you know, and like, yes. There's, it's a collective unconscious thing. Sure, it kind Art of imitating ebbs, life. A hundred percent. Yeah, like when the Ukraine thing happened initially, people yeah. were bummed. Nobody yeah. was making good content. Mm-hmm. Now I'm finding people are getting happier again. We're Even forgetting. though the situation isn't resolved, that's correct. Nice. Yeah. Americans yeah. forget so quickly. Yes. Good. Yeah. Okay. We don't care. Let's um, let's start looking through some of these. Cause I'm gonna be in a fight too, and I'm from the ghetto. I don't care about my bitch. Yo, don't get your ass tore up by me, bitch. It won't be pretty. Right, and try to say white girls can't fight. You come for me, then y'all, you coming from both of us. And if you come for both of us, then your ass is grass. Period. Right, you gonna be ran over by the hard mower, bitch. You come for her, you coming for me, like bitch. And that's all. Period. Bye, bitch. <laughs> very, very good is that talk. great? Very cute talk. Yeah. yeah, that was neat. I would not expect the girl on the left to be quite like that. Like what, Tom? Just cool, <laughs> chill, interesting cadence <laughs> when she speaks. I know. Oh, so embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> so embarrassing. Right? Hey, y'all. Oh, this guy. Oh, yeah. Somebody keeps reporting my shit and get my videos took down. <laughs> took okay. down. I don't really give a fuck. Yeah. yeah. Just take my whole goddamn account, TikTok. <laughs> it's yours any fucking way. You own it. Bye. It's a good attitude. The thing is, I think he does care. Like he, well, that's the thing. He does care. I mean, yeah. he's making a post about it. He's like, I don't care. But he clearly does because he's yeah. drinking Bacardi and he's very upset. So yeah. I thought it was interesting emotionally, the yeah. arc that this talk took. Yeah. yeah. And that he has no teeth, too. Another perfect hire for you. <laughs> is this guy your tour manager? Is this who you're going to hire? I see you have a point. Is this your opener? <laughs> I'm just saying that no teeth is usually indicative of other issues. Of course it is. <laughs> or at least the choice to record yourself without them. Right? You can have no teeth, but usually you'll be like, oh, I'm going to make a video. Let me get them real quick. <laughs> Pump them in. Yeah. 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 He's only 41, too. Speaking of teeth, isn't that wild? She's got three rows of teeth. Like a shark. 
That is jacked. She needs to get some pulled, no? That is fucking fascinating. I mm-hmm. would love like more video, more photos, mm-hmm. and a like a whole explanation of what the fuck is happening. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like her teeth have teeth. I mean. Mm-hmm. It's pretty cool, right? Yeah. I, I kind of want to see what her chewing capacity is. Yeah, like, <laughs> do you think you know? she can eat faster than Bert? No. <laughs> yeah, do you think that enhances her eating ability? Like, her chewing abilities? Yeah. Like, can she tear through ribs and steaks faster than you and me? Wow. I know. Isn't that rad? Yeah, it's amazing. I mean, I, I hope, uh, is she in a dentist's office? I hope she's getting this, like, taken care of or something. No, she's just showing you what she's got. I want her to get taken care of. So do I. You know? Priority number one. Sure. Hey, number one. I feel like her whole life will change. I feel like your guys' motto has always been like, go broke fixing your teeth. Yeah, right? yeah. A thousand. Teeth percent. first. Yeah, teeth first. That should be the next yeah. shirt. Yeah. Teeth first, teeth bro. Teeth first. And equality begins after your teeth are fixed. That's so yeah. true. Yeah. There's no excuse to have bad teeth in this I don't generation. Care where you're from, race, religion, gender, you get your teeth fucking fixed if you yeah. want to talk to me. All right? Yeah. Well, and now, and now, and now you can get those Invisalign braces. You don't even have yeah. to get metal braces and be I all know. embarrassed anymore. I mean, she needs major, major dental surgery. problems. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, she needs to get like one layer of teeth removed first, or two layers I of teeth. I want to know what this is. It's some some disorder. Yeah, I'm sure. Like, do you ever feel violent? Yes, I do. What do you feel like doing? Killing people. You still feel like killing people? Yes. Describe the feeling that you get when you feel like killing people. Well, last March 11th, I was hallucinating, and I took a razor blade and I cut a man's throat. Here in the hospital? Here in the hospital. Do you think you'd murder me, Joe? Yes. That's gruesome, Joe. That's horrible. Yes, it is. And you don't blame me if I say I hope you never get out of this place. I hope I never do either. Yeah. Not a lot of eye emotion, right? Not a lot of blinking. There. Yeah. And his yeah. teeth aren't good either. He doesn't have great teeth. But um, look at that. Look at the eyes. Yeah. 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 A lot. You can. It's a window into the person, you know? But he's Black cute. I'd date him. You would oh, date yes. him. You said you like bearded big guys. I like, uh, like yeah. aesthetically, this guy is kind of my jam. Yeah. You know? I wonder if there's, I wonder if he's still around. This looks like pretty old footage. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah, would, it's, it's old. It's Geraldo. old. I know. I, I would I set up a meeting for you if you... Oh, this guy? I mean, if I could make it happen, I would. Isn't it crazy that girls will write to these clowns? Yeah. Oh, he died in 96. Damn, no. that old. What was his name? Joseph Callinger. Hmm. Yeah. Did he kill a bunch of people? Was he a serial killer? I thought you wouldn't... Zolo says yes. Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah, sometimes you just feel it, man. You know, you just feel like doing it. I get it. Yeah. But what do you think the attraction is for the woman that wants to date these guys? Uh, show the guy that he's lovable. Oh, like I'm going to save you. I'm yeah, going to make yeah. you normal. Oh, see, he's a handsome fellow back then. Yeah. What's the um <laughs> what's like the wiki on him? Let's get the uh the actual Here we go. Just scroll here. All right. And uh. Oh, he tortured three people, and four families. Oh, families. He later committed crimes with his 12-year-old son. Jesus Christ. What's our body count here? What are we looking at? Um, he was arrested in 72. And he had scored 82 on the IQ test. 82. Mm, it's not so high. It's not high. Paranoid schizophrenia. Yeah, oh, so. Oh, yeah. Check. His kid was found dead in a construction two weeks after okay. Calvary took out a large insurance policy. Oh, so he probably killed his son. That's pretty cool. Um, does it say here if you scroll down a little more? Uh, they killed three people. Oh, I mean, you know, <laughs> big deal. Three is not does not a serial killer make right? Three? Yeah, I think I think three is like the. You're just kind of a pesky guy. <laughs> yeah, you are a pest, pesky, a pest, right? Maybe you're. Pe- pesky, isn't the word yeah. pesky? Yeah, like you're the, right. You're kind of a menace. Yeah, but menace. you're not a serial and, and a pest. You're yeah, a pest. A pest. You're you know? bothering people. Yeah, it's you're not bothering me. Definitely a knucklehead. Yeah, big right? time. Right. Well, that's too bad you don't get to date him. Um, <laughs> yeah, 
I mean, I do like how you know, even I'm he 58 is. 58 and single. I'm looking for a new girlfriend. Anybody interested? What's wrong <laughs> with that pitch for a woman? Like, why doesn't that resonate with you? Because it doesn't give additional information, like we always say. Just being 58 and single Isn't doesn't enough. doesn't make you interesting. Like, that's okay. What else? What else do you have to offer me? And I say, I see you like cool sweaters. I see that you're into bangs. Your like hair's I am. pretty cool. My hair's kind of rad. Yeah. I, I bet you like music, but I don't know what kind. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me something. Yeah. Good call. And also get on a dating site instead of TikTok. <laughs> TikTok's that would be not my first the place advice. To go. And you hate me. <laughs> <laughs> that cat yeah. fully chomps her arm. I thought I that was pretty fucking amazing. She's cute. It's funny. Yeah. That was really adorable. I'm biting her arm so hard. <laughs> so hard. <laughs> Cats are so mean. Walking down the street, pretty woman. Hex, <laughs> hex. I just thought that was a fun little ditty. You didn't enjoy that? Nope. Pretty woman. You don't like that song? I don't like that. Walking no. down. See, this doesn't make me sad. This make the the would you rather watch the first video, the opening video, or this lady? I'd rather watch that Jeep Wrangler rip in half. Oh my times. gosh. I mean, I thought this was funny. She has a good sense of humor. You know what? You guys are just so biased. Like stop trying to shame her. Let's move on. <laughs> Look at him, he's so sweet. Oh my god, look at that. Oh my uh -oh. god, what? <gasps> oh, oh my god! <laughs> Is that his winky? Uh, yeah. Oh my god! Oh, it's like the size of his body. Oh my god! <laughs> what do I do? Do I let him keep going? Or... Uh, yeah. No. <laughs> Finish him off. Oh, no. Oh my god. Down, Brillo, down. Yeah, it that took him long enough oh to pull his oh, He's really strong. Oh. Yeah. What do I do? Do I let him I, come on my arm? Is that what she's really asking? I mean, I like how like that armadillo knows that this is the right kind of chick to do yeah. that to. <laughs> <It's always laughs> that armadillo's like, she smells like vanilla. <laughs> <laughs> Big fake eyelashes. Spray tan. Give it to me. <laughs> you know what I think is true? Like the faker and fuller the eyelashes, the crazier the chick. Yeah. Like Full fake eyelashes. And the scent of vanilla. And vanilla, like, hey, yeah. Hey, is there a horror around here? <laughs> like, you just know right away. <laughs> and a French pedicure. Uh, yeah. Pfft, yeah. A yeah. black French pedicure? Whoa. Uh, that would, I would get run the other way. If it's black, you got to run. Because that's dirty, dirty badge. She's got STDs, yeah. for sure. But like, white just means she's definitely going to jerk you she's off. She's a hooker, yeah. 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 But I like how she's like, should I let the armadillo just come on my arm? Yeah. No. What do I do? Let him come? She's like, I usually do. <laughs> <laughs> usually if a guy's got his dick out, I just let him come. Yeah. Like, no, that thing weighs, what, 10 pounds? Oh, just no. flick it off of you. Move it away. It's as big as a cat. Just I like how she needs another guy to be like, don't let every guy come. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she needs permission to not let an armadillo come on her arm. Oh, my God. I would throw that thing across the fucking rim. Uh-oh. Oh, oh my God. No way that's real. No, it's not real. Okay. And in fact, I posted this on Instagram stories and it got flagged because it's not oh, real. Dangerous. It's like, yeah. I yeah. mean, your heart stops for a second. Yeah, You're it's like, cool, right? The fuck? That was pretty cool. Great. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> that's in Florida, of course. The sign is great. Our dogs climb trees. They are fine. Oh, yeah, because people are calling 911. I'm sure. Yeah. And by the way, they wrote our dog's D-O-G apostrophe S, which is grammatically incorrect. Our dog is? Our dog is. Yeah, oh, is. <laughs> <laughs> if you're going to go to the trouble of printing a sign, yeah. you may want to spell check it first. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so... I tried to find the original talk so yeah. that not without the reactions. I couldn't because yeah. it's been it's been duetted or whatever this is so many times. Yeah. I mean it's pretty amazing. It's incredible. Yeah. For people not or just listening, there's a woman with no arms. Like no arms who leaps, runs and leaps onto a pole with her legs. And it's fucking and holds on, but you don't get to see really what she does next. But yeah, I'd, I'd take it for a ride for sure. 
You don't think that leg game is probably out of control? Probably out of control. Yeah, she probably has to use her feet to do everything her hands do. Okay. Yeah. Let her go wild. Yeah, I think she could really... She probably has deep. incredible dexterity at this point. With oh, them, yeah, those feet know? are like hands. They're like hands, yeah. She can probably eat meals and like and jack make your you dick. <laughs> yeah. yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah. yeah. She could probably yeah. like play the piano and shit with mm-hmm. those feet. Probably put right. one toe in your butthole and the other one, yep. you know... Gosh, now I want to fuck her too. <laughs> we gotta uh, find this chick, Tom. All right, let's we give gotta, her a call. Hey, you fucking find her. We got a double team her. It's uh, what is it? Feisty girl or something? Well, that's the thing. It's been duetted uh, so, so many what? times that I don't it. even know what the original talk is. God damn it! Because people really took to this. You guys fucking find her. <laughs> um, it's right. she's pretty rad, and she's in good shape. She looks good. Yeah. yeah, I'm a fan. Um, all right, let's. That's uh, it. Oh, I was just that felt so warm. I know. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for listening, and we will see you in two and two. All right, <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bye. What's up, there, Chomo? Listen here. Hi, thank you for watching that episode of Your Mom's House. I really appreciate it. If you want to see more, you can click on any of these videos in this general area. And also, if you haven't subscribed, please do. It helps feed our cats. Don't have any cats.